Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the video telling you how to start in the novel action. Once again, today is with me Matty Mowers. Hi there guys. And this time we are taking bigger ships and we have way more fun than we in the basic cutters. So first what you want to do once you get a bigger ship like a brick or snow, you want to equip cannons for it or carnates, which, which are much better than the cannons, especially for the missions. So you have to go to the shop, you click cannons, and then you can take the three base medium cannons, or you can choose the ninth class and the eighth class, and probably seventh, I think. Here you have the information what kind of cannons and carnates can equip. The cannons are in the first bracket from the eighth class to the ninth class, and the carnates are in the next bracket, from the 7th class to the 8th class. And that's how it works for the lower deck, top deck, front and back. So if I want to equip carnates, I can take the best 7th and 8th. Okay, there we go, 7th carnates, 18 pounders, just for the 300 gold. And the 8th class carnates. Oh, wait. Why the 8th class are so expensive? I have no idea. Anyway, there we put the 8th class, here we put the 7th the class. Uh, do we want the front and back? No, we do not want it. But the new players can equip them for, for the first experience. Okay, we've got Three missions again, the Enzyme, which is the one right after the Midshipman. We've got the full crew. And the snow is exceptional, that's very important, that's the best kind of a ship. Life Oak, it's strength, speed. And with the five regular upgrades, no permanent upgrades. Okay, uh, repair kits. We want at least... Two or three repair kits, I would say two. And I can finally set sail. Nothing Morris is probably on the way. Yep. I'm sailing from the Port Morant, as that's way my where my snow was located. I will keep sailing to the south. It's on the 750, 75 mark, and a bit due to the north from the 20.0. Did you roger that? Wait, what? Again, please? 75.0 and let's say 20.0. Uh, okay, on my way. Here in the top right corner you can see the coordinates of your position. Yeah, kind of like GPS. But that's currently the only way you can tell your position. You have no other tools, so that might change in the future. Uh, first we want to hit the 20.0 mark and then start heading west. Now start heading southwest. That would be much better, I think. South, south, uh, southwest, west. That's our current direction. Here we can see other missions that our players doing around us, but for now we don't care about them. We just want to do our own mission. I'm almost there. I still cannot see the mission on the horizon.
What's your position? Uh, seven five zero and two zero two zero. Okay, I can see you already. When you what? Where? <laughs> oh, there we are. When you press the shift, you can use the spy glass, and you can use scroll to zoom in and zoom out. That's very helpful. And I'm heading directly towards the mission. The higher mission, the higher rank, the farther it will spawn from, from your port you, you, you are taking it. So the last one, the rear admiral, uh, are spawning like very often around here on the other side of the Jamaica, sometimes here behind the Japan Islands, so called, or next to the Pedro Cay. Not very far, but you're sailing in a much bigger ship, so it's more dangerous. Okay, you can see this is our Admiralty order. When we started the game we had big problems finding the missions. But it, it's very simple. How's your break? Sorry? How's your break? Uh, great. What's the rating of it? Two My ten, what? Two ten, ten ten. Dude, what are you talking about? Yeah, what's your rating for the brick? Like, I have never sailed one. Yeah, it's the first time for me to. Oh, okay. So you. Whoa! Entering combat. <laughs> You raid the brick right after the battle. There we go. Two privateers and one cutter. That's a fair battle. Easy peasy. Uh, it will be a piece of cake. Okay, so here you can see in that kind of ship we have already chasers, the front chaser and the stern chaser, but they are currently empty because I did not equip them. But I have the coronates on both sides. What about the coronates? They are causing much more damage, they are loading faster, require less crew to load, but the distance. The distance is very small and the dispersion is huge. They are also shooting in uh, some kind of an arc, not in a straight line like the cannons. So it might be a little bit harder to use them in the beginning. Also pay attention that right now we have more masts, you have two masts and it might be for you really easy to get stuck against the wind because in that kind of ship you should know how to use manual sailing and the video about manual sailing I will do sometime when I have more free time but not now okay there we go first blood let's depower I will rotate my Masts and see what we get. Ah, uh, that was a bit too fast. Yeah, it was too fast for me. I could try shooting on both sides at the same time, but that's very inaccurate. You can see how fast I'm turning with the manual sailing.
once you know how to use manual same that's very helpful. Hey hey, do not run me. Ding ding. What? Sorry. Ding ding. Okay, and it's now much better than in a basic cutter. The experience is totally different. Uh, one hit only, I missed all of them. Oh. I don't want to get stuck in the wind. First, I mean... Oh, I've got a bigger ship than you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but it's not about the size. Yep, it's about sailing. And the bigger ship you have, the easier it is to hit you. Like... You might not guys know how hard it is to hit a basic cutter in a huge ship. Okay, there we go. Is he ramming you? No, I'm ramming him. No, 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 it's the different way. It's the... He's ramming you. You know nothing. And he got the crew shock. When the enemy has a crew shock, he cannot reload, he cannot uh, boil the water, and he cannot do most of the things he, the ship requires crew to do. can cause a crew shock on enemy ship uh, by... Um, oh wait, he got a crew shock, right? Yeah, by killing a lot of crew or he can cause a, a reload shock. Yeah, I'm... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Mate, what are you doing? My bad. The reload shock is uh, preventing the enemy from reloading and the crew shock is preventing the enemy from doing everything what requires the crew. Right. And there's also the third shock, rigging shock, when you lose your front part of the sails. And when you get a rigging shock you cannot Oh no, oh no, I've got a connection problem. Yeah, that's my fault, the fault of my internet. You can see all ships are floating, and th that's just the sign of losing connection. Oh man. Right now I have to reconnect and I will log in again to the game. What? You lost connection? Yes, oh, I did. You have left the group. You left me all alone. Yeah, they will kill you easily. You're an easy target. When you lose a connection, your ship drops sails and you're just alone. Easy target. And after about 5 minutes, if you do not come back to the game, the computer starts, the AI takes control of your ship and it tries to escape. After 5 minutes, if you're still alive. Th that's really a joke. Okay, and he got a reload shot because I damaged him heavily. 11 hull hits on his ship. And they are all going to die very quickly. Ok, 
God damn it, I did not hit him because of the waves. Okay, it's time for the ramming speed. Oh man, I used to love ramming when I started the game. I think we all love ramming. Yeah, I agree. I still love it. Ding ding. Come on, man. What what are you doing? What? Shooting. Trying to run me, kill. Oops, it wasn't me. Go away. Okay, let's attack the wind with the manual sailing. I have enough speed to do it very gently. As you can see, without getting stuck with the help of my wall sailing, I can easily tug the wind. Okay, this one is almost dead. He got stuck against the wind, I believe. A bit more love to that one guy. Uh, only one hole hit. Yeah, the grenades are really not accurate. You have to be very close to the enemy ship. Let's tag the wind once again. Oh man, oh man, turn left, Mati. Whoa, ding ding. Turn left, no, not this left, it's not left, man. You just scratched Oopsie. my beautiful snow. Random new one from the factory. How dare you. How the so how the hell they are still sailing and they are not dead? It's magic. Okay, damage also his other side. Okay, there we go. Reload shot. to hit once more this one already dying and sinking
What's good about Veramic is that Veramic is causing clicks to enemy ship. Not always, but most likely it can cause leaks. So if we really want to, uh, one ship to sink faster, you should ram it. But remember that you can always use your front of a ship when you're ramming. Hello, ding ding. Hi there, ding ding. Oh man, seven sales hits. It's not something I was asking for. Come on, boy. Henry Brown, you're not able to escape from me. You're all mine. Come on, come on, stop turning, man. Okay, destroyed his rudder. That should hurt him a little bit. He might... No, he's not getting stuck. Come on, they are trying to escape, man. You're most likely dead. There we go, second kill. Second assist. That's what they call teamwork. This time, no mercy for you, Henry. I really like your name, but you know, I need the gold, I need the XP. So, running speed, full ahead. He's a bit faster. Yeah, great run. Hey man, he's faster. Come on, come on, come on! Oh yeah, beautiful. What? Look out! Ding ding oh. ding ding ding. Oh! Oh man, come on! Now <laughs> that was great drum. <laughs> You're not running the right person. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, there we go, do not escape, do not escape. Oh yeah. And also, come on, join us. Nice, ringing shock. He probably got quite a few leaks and he's going to die very quickly now. Still alive, that's that's impressive. But this is going to hurt him. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's looking just nice. So beautiful. L look at his ship. <laughs> yeah, I see. Oh man. Oh. Hey, kill. Nice. And that's it. That's all. That was a very quick mission. If you have a good ship enough, exceptional if possible, snow is a great choice. Then go ahead, do more missions, ask people from the nation chat, and from your cloud if you have one. And that's why you can start the game. There's also the other way of uh, the PVE way. Some traders are playing this game that are not really into combat, but that's novel action, not novel trading, right? Right. Okay, I'm coming back to the Port Morant. I have one, one free spot in my dogster. And that's it for this episode. Thanks all for watching, if you enjoyed the video. Of course, don't forget to do your stuff. Yeah, the stuff you need to do. Likes, comments, subscriptions, monies, everything. Everything for me. And maybe 5% for Mati. <laughs> Yay, it's something. Okay, see ya guys later. later. See ya.